It's Monday, February the 25th, and here is Redspan Aviation News number 28. In this edition, do you follow the Skyway Code? New rules about flying drones near airfields come into force. And drone majors Robert Garbett to serve as expert speaker at the 2019 Aero Podium. Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and here is this week's roundup of aviation news from high altitude to below 400 feet. Each week I bring you selected stories about aerial activity, from space exploration to general aviation, from drones to UFOs. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation business. So chocks away then. First, do you follow the Skyway code? The Skyway Code is a CAA publication, CAP 1535P, designed to be a guide to private flying rules, regulations and best practices. It contains chapters on pre-flight checklists for the pilot, the aircraft and flight planning, useful comms info for UK FIRs, requirements for the pilot in command, aerospace best practices, Aerodrome Operations Procedures General Aviation Risks Procedures for Emergencies Tables and Codes International Flights and where to find more information. It was first published in September 2017 and the current version is version 1.1. It's free to download from the CAA website. For easy navigation, simply visit airspacesafety.com and follow the link from there on the home page. Downloads are limited to 10 per person and the terms of use stipulate that the document may not be sold or rented to others. Next, in light of the Gatwick drone incident last December and other incursions, real or imagined, the UK government has announced a change to the laws pertaining to flying unmanned aircraft near airfields and airports. These new rules come into effect on March the 13th, 2019, and are explained in detail on the DroneSafe website. In the UK, you have to keep your UAV in sight and below 400 feet, as measured from the drone takeoff point on the Earth's surface. You must follow the manufacturer's instructions for your drone and maintain a separation of 150 feet from people and properties and 300 feet from built-up areas. The drone pilot is responsible for the flight at all times. The new section about airfield restrictions is explained in these terms. The government has introduced a new rule stating that the one kilometre restriction from the airfield boundary is replaced by a restriction using the airfield's existing aerodrome traffic zone, which has a radius of either two or two and a half nautical miles, and then five kilometres by one kilometre zones, starting from the point known as the threshold at the end of each of the airfield's runways. Both zones extend upwards to a height of 2,000 feet above the airfield. It is illegal to fly any drone at any time within these restricted zones unless you have permission from air traffic control at the airport or, if air traffic control is not operational, from the airport itself. For more information, links to maps of airfields, etc., and to download a PDF of the UK's drone code, visit the DroneSafe website at dronesafe.uk. Finally this week, 2019 may very well be the year of the drone, with the technology advancing at hyperspeed and new applications emerging on a daily basis. With a mass of information and various initiatives entering the public eye, it is not often that an opportunity to learn the industry from those who started it comes around. Until Aero Podium. The event, taking place on the 4th of March 29 at the Pestana Chelsea Bridge Hotel in London, UK, offers a perfect opportunity to explore both drone technology as well as the rules, regulations and social cause associated with them. This event takes a comprehensive look at topics from social responsibility and non-military drone use to insurance, liability, safety and concerns. At a sensitive time in this technological revolution, an opportunity for current, relevant education should not be overlooked. As a proud sponsor, 
Drone Major Group's chief executive, Robert Garbutt, has agreed to speak at the event, covering topics such as the evolution of the drone industry, adding his personal experiences with the technology, and how he foresees the future of this exciting industry. For more information about Aeropodium events, visit aeropodium.com. For more information about Drone Major Group, visit dronemajorgroup.com. That's all for this edition of Redspan Aviation News. I look forward to bringing you more about the fascinating world of aviation and space exploration soon. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of the next edition. Finally, please like, share and comment on this video so that I know what I'm doing right and will continue to make videos that people want to watch.